Psalms 44, to the chief musician for the sons of Korah, Meshiel, which is instruction. Again, the sons of Korah were given the office of the music in the temple. And this is going to be a short history of Israel. We have heard with our ears, O God. Our fathers have told us what work thou didst in their days. In the times of old. And that's what should be told. The history of God. The history of what he does. Called the testimony. How thou didst drive out the heathen with thy hand. And planted them. How thou didst afflict the people. And cast them out into the land of Canaan. For they got not the land. Israel did not get the land in possession by their own sword. It was God's hand we're going to learn in a moment. Neither did their own arm save them. But thy right hand, Jesus Christ is sitting at the right hand of the Father today. And thy arm, and the light of thy countenance, the face of expression, because thou hast favored unto them Israel. Israel got into the land not by might, but by God. Thou art my king, capital K. And run the reference to Jesus, O oh God. Tell the Jehovah Witnesses they're wrong. O oh, King, capital K, matches with the New Testament. The New Testament represents with Jesus, O oh God. So only one King coming to Israel, and that's Jesus Christ, who will sit on the throne of David. Command deliverance for Jacob, that's Israel. Through thee, God, we will push down our enemies. God's the, in charge. Wait, through thee, we will push the enemies. So thou shalt not kill. We're not going to do no military service. Again, Jehovah Witnesses are wrong. Through thy name we will tread under, we will tread them under that rise up against us. And then when Jesus Christ comes, they're going to be treading underneath Jesus' horse. I will not trust in my bow, bow and arrow, neither my sword. Save me. It's by God. And go back and read all the, the miraculous battles that Israel had, and yet to come. The second advent, Israel's not going to raise one hand. It's going to be all done by Jesus Christ at God's right hand right now. But thou hast saved us from our enemies and hast put them to shame that hated us. Off and on, off and on. But once Jesus comes, in God we boast all day long. There's a good boasting. Boast in God. And praise thy name forever, Selah. King of kings, Lord of lords. A name that no one knew, but he himself. There's no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. What is thy name? I am that I am. But thou hast cast off. And put us, Israel, to shame. And goes not forth with our enemies. Because Israel sinned, went against God, turned to other gods. Thou makest a turn back from the enemy, retreat, surrender, and they which hate us spoil for themselves. Thou hast given us like sheep appointed for meat, a meal, and hast scattered us among the heathen. That's true today. The Jews are all over the world. Thou sellest thy people. Because they gave up on God. They turned to other gods. For not, nothing, and does not increase thy wealth by their price. There was no appreciation value. They depreciate like a car when you buy out of the showroom. Once you drive that car off, the value goes down. God had a great value for Israel. They sinned against God. and Thou makest a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and de derision to them that are round about us. I mean, Israel is one of them jokes. There are books about jo the jokes of the Israel people. Because they sinned against God. 
but God's ain't finished with them. Thou make us a byword among the heathen, again, joking, and a shaking of the head among the people. Like, oh, boy, I can't believe it. Can't believe it's a Jew. Can't believe them people. My confusion is continually before me, and the shame of my face has covered me. I can't hold my head up. For the voice of him that reproaches and blasphemes by reason of enemies and avenger. This is a state when a man has gone against what God has said. All this has come upon us, the Jews, yet we have not forgotten thee. I mean, they do have temple service. They do read the law, but the Bible says their ears are closed, their eyes are shut. Neither have we dwelt falsely with thy covenant. Yes, you have. That's why God's angry with you. Our heart is not turned back. Well, this has got to be a reference to the, the millennium. Because they are turned back. Right now, they are, the, Paul calls them the enemy of the gospel. Neither have our steps declined from thy way. Thy way is Jesus. And once Jesus comes, he's going to settle that nation once for all. God's people. Though thou hast sore broken us in the place of dragon, and cover us with the shadow of death, here comes death, tribulation, if we have forgotten the name of our God, or stretched out our hands to a strange God they had, shall not God search this out? And he has, and he will, for he knows the secrets of the heart. Yes, he does. I mean, Israel has rejected Jesus Christ. And they're, yea, for thy sake, we are called all day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. John chapter 10, the sheep are Israel, and they're just being slaughtered because they won't trust God. Awake, why sleep is thou, O Lord? He's, he's awake. He's waiting for you right now to turn to Jesus Christ. Arise, cast us not off forever when the Lord Jesus Christ comes. Wherefore hidest thou thy face? Now we'll have listen, G, God help God hid his face from Jesus. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And you want to hide your face from Jesus? Well, oh, I'll tell you what, we'll come up. God hates the sin, but loves the sinner. Well, God will cast the sinner into hell, not the sin. Uh, not only did I say that the other day, but uh, I saw someone post something like that on Facebook. And forget us, our affliction, tribulation, and our oppression, what they're getting today. What happened during World War II and how the Jews are mistreated because they rejected God. They rejected Jesus. They turn to other gods. For our soul is bowed down to dust. Low. Our belly cleaveth unto the earth. You're down, low down. Arise for our help. They did that in Acts chapter 6 when Stephen died. Stephen says, I see, Je <coughs> I see Jesus standing. At the second advent, Jesus is going to stand and get up and get on the horse. That's the second advent pass. Redeem us from, for thy mercy's sake. That's what God's going to do with the nation of Israel. He's going to redeem them because God loves them. But right now they're being punished and they're going to get Jacob's trouble. 